Ladies and gentlemen, on March 28th of 2022, Dylan Brooks and the Memphis Grizzlies matched up against a really shorthanded Warriors team that was playing without the trio of Steph, Clay, and Draymond. Well, the Grizzlies won that game 123-95, and just like that, it gave birth to the epic dynasty of the Memphis Grizzlies. <laughs> we were able to, you know, create something like this and, you know, keep building this dynasty and well, that was about a year ago today. So let's pause for a quick second and count how many championships this Dylan Dynasty Brooks has. He was drafted into the NBA back in 2017. In 2018 and 2019, the Grizzlies missed the playoffs. In 2020, he was eliminated in the play-in tournament by Dame Time and the Trailblazers. In 2021, he was eliminated in the first round by Donovan Mitchell and the Jazz. In 2022, he was eliminated in the second round by Steph Curry and the Warriors. Then finally, in 2023, he was eliminated in the first round by LeBron James and the Lakers. Ladies and gentlemen, while Dylan Dynasty Brooks hasn't won a championship or even sniffed the NBA Finals, the following clip you're about to see is actually his version of a championship parade. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. After religiously following the NBA for nearly two decades now, I've never, absolutely never, ever, ever seen a player more embarrassing than Dylan Dynasty Brooks. <laughs> so, uh, this dude Dylan has been having trash talking gone wrong highlights literally all season long. If you haven't seen the antics he's been up to during the regular season, then make sure to watch this video here afterwards. Because today, we'll be going over him trash talking one of the greatest players of all time, LeBron King James. So here's the story. After the Los Angeles Lakers beat the Timberwolves in the play-in tournament and secured the seventh seed, which matches them with the Grizzlies in the first round, Brooks said this. Um, but I wouldn't mind playing LeBron. Uh, in a seven game series. The legacy's there. First time back in the playoffs, knock them out right away in the first round. Now, I understand Brooks is a competitive dude, but if you're gonna say something like that, you better back it up and not be um, useless. I mean, you better not be saying things like that and average like, I don't know, 10 points a game on 30% shooting from the floor. <laughs> anyway. In game one, literally within the opening minutes of the game, this happened. James, another steal. James just powers down. As y'all just saw, a 38-year-old LeBron James went coast to coast, and here's Dylan Brooks. First, he points to the corner, then the next thing you know, he's watching a 38-year-old LeBron dunking better than he himself has in his whole career. Sheesh. After that comes the infamous game two. So in the fourth quarter, Brooks miraculously hits one of his low percentage three point shots in front of LeBron. It was a nice deep three, but for some reason after hitting that shot, he decided to stare down LeBron. I honestly don't know what in tar nations made him think that was a good idea. I mean, he had 12 points that game, shot 35% from the field, turned the ball over twice, and after hitting one lucky three, started smack talking the leading scorer in NBA history. Like, it really doesn't get any more cringy than that. <laughs> it's no wonder why Kyrie wanted nothing to do with his jersey. Now, anyway, after that game two was when Brooks had his biggest moment of the series and perhaps of his career. I'm talking about his post-game interview where he said, What are you thinking? I don't care. He's old. I poke bears. Um, I don't respect no one until they come and give me 40. Who in the world says they don't respect people unless they drop 40? <laughs> Especially when they themselves average just 10. Now, ain't that one of the craziest things you've ever heard? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Trust me when I say that the King heard those words, because come game three in the first half, LeBron had an efficient 12 points on six for 10 shooting from the floor and also collected five rebounds. 
Brooks, on the other hand, in the first half of Game 3, went for 7 points and shot 3 for 13 from the field. Well, like they always say, basketball is a game of two halves, and to start the second half, Brooks came out ready. And when I say ready, I meant he was ready to do what he did to Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, that's right. Within the opening seconds of the second half, Dylan Brooks picked up LeBron James at 94 feet and got him right in the family jewels. Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Dynasty Brooks is 27 years old. He's entering his prime, and to stop 38-year-olds, he has to resort to things like this? <laughs> well, he got ejected after that incident, and that's that. Anyway, come game four. Oh, wait. Before I show this, I gotta rewind a bit. So, in one of his earlier interviews, he goes, I just let him know that, you know, you don't, you can't take me one-on-one. -on -one. You can go look at the film, he doesn't really take me one-on-one. -on -one. So, he pretty much said LeBron can't take him one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> uh, so, come game four, the game eventually went into overtime. The Lakers were up three with just under 30 seconds to go on the game clock. It was Dylan's time to shine. Dylan's time to stop LeBron. Dylan's time to show the world how good of a defender he is. He wanted James. He gets him. James drives. James is fouled. Well, uh, that probably didn't go the way he planned. After saying that LeBron can't take him one-on-one, -on -one, LeBron hit a dagger and one on him and gave the Lakers a commanding 3-1 lead for the series. If you're wondering what Dylan had to say to the media after that game, well, he didn't. Here he is in the corner. He catches the ball as the clock expires and booked it out of the arena ASAP before reporters could even get to him. <laughs> in Game 5, the Grizzlies won at home, but not before Anthony Davis had a monster block on him, which then got him the stare down from LeBron, AD, and D'Lo. Sheesh, guys. If you think that was cold, then take a look at this. So, in Game 6, the game that ended the series, look at what LeBron said to Dylan Brooks pre-game. Oh my goodness, guys. Those were some pretty cold words. Dylan honestly looked shook. And LeBron? Well, he followed up his talk by dropping 22 points on an efficient 9 for 13 from the floor and led his team to a 125 to 85 victory over the Memphis Grizzlies in a game where Brooks scored just 10 points. Ladies and gentlemen, for the series as a whole, the great 3 and D defender Dylan Dynasty Brooks averaged 10.5 points, 0.2 steals, 0 blocks on shooting splits of 31% from the field, 24% from 3, and 71% at the free throw line. This is how a dynasty ends in the first round. <laughs> anyway, Dylan Brooks didn't speak with any reporters after that game either. No, no, he, uh, he immediately went on his walk of shame and then was fined afterwards for not speaking to the media. You know something, in terms of just absolute embarrassment, this is probably as close as it gets to Cersei Lannister's walk of shame from Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, in the aftermath of everything that transpired over the series and over the whole year with Dylan's antics with Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Donovan Mitchell, James Harden, Joel Embiid, Anthony Edwards, and heck, there's probably a lot more, honestly. After all the aftermath, the general manager of the Grizzlies, Zach Clayman, said, there were definitely some self-created distractions in the series and along the way. We're going to take a different approach next season. He also added that uh, he'll hit on Dylan another day. Well, literally the very next day, credible sources had confirmed that the Memphis Grizzlies have informed pending free agent Dylan Brooks that he will not be brought back under any circumstances. Ouch, guys. Ouch. This dude literally talked himself out of the NBA. And you know what's unfortunate about this for Brooks? Well, earlier in the season, the Grizzlies actually offered him multiple contract extensions, but he bet on himself and rejected them all. And what's hilariously funny about things is uh, this article here I found on Bleacher Report. They list three teams that'll be a good fit for Brooks going forward, and if you're wondering what those three teams are, number one is the Warriors, and number two is the Lakers. I don't know if that was meant to be a joke, but either way, I found it hilarious. 
I mean, can you imagine him getting yelled at by either Draymond or LeBron on a nightly basis? <laughs> Unfortunately for the Warriors and the Lakers, however, Dylan Brooks has already found his next team and has arguably already signed a new contract. <laughs> I mean, look at the Wikipedia page for the Shanghai Sharks and just look at that roster. See a name there that looks familiar? 